Okay, with this we're going to show how to uh, edit your, your rules that you have. Um, and if you already have a rule set up, or if you don't, you can create your rule by right-clicking Add Rule. Or we can come in here, we already have a rule, so we're going to edit the rule. And what we're going to do with this rule now, uh, I have a simple uh, one-line rule here that does change the title. Title block property is actually changing the eye property in the background, and that title block is picking up the eye property, and it's setting the Dave's Drawing title. But let's make some more logic to this. So I'm going to uh, add a few lines in here. I'm going to come down into my snippets over here on the left-hand side. So we can use snippets uh, for functionality. They're already there. We can use that for adding code within to our iLogic rule. And I'm going to come down here to my input box because I want to get an input from a user on what title I should put in there. So it's going to uh, uh, display an input box to the user. It's going to set it to a, a parameter. And we can change the parameter names and everything like that too. But let's just keep it as my parameter for now. The prompt is... Uh, what is the new title? He has the prompt. The title of this can be um, input I prop as the title of the dialog. And then we can have a default entry if you already want a default entry into the field. If you want something blank, just make it blank. Okay, then we're going to use that my parameter and place it into this area here where we're going to set that value into the I property of the title. So I'm going to hit my parameter into there. Okay, and then I'm going to add a few lines down here and I'm going to put a show dialog at the very end. And with this, uh, I, this is just going to confirm to the user uh, with another pop-up saying this is what we changed our title to. So I'm going to put, uh, we changed the title to and I'm going to put a space, and I can put the parameter in here to make it more dynamic with the, with the dialog. And we can put the my parameter in here as this. Okay, we change the title to that my parameter, and we can put the title I prop changed as the title with that dialog. And then at the very end, I'm here to clean these up, put maybe one space only in between these, and remove that extra line at the, at the bottom. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to close it out. Now I'm going to run this rule by right-clicking, hit run rule. You can see now that it's asking me for what is the new title. And let's put in new title of the iLogic script. And we'll put OK, hit OK. And you can see it has changed the i property and then therefore changed the title of the, of the, the um, uh, title block here. And also this dialog came up and confirmed the user. We changed the title to the new title of the, of the iLogic script. Okay, really simple. Uh, iLogic can be as simple or as complex as you want, but it all depends on how much scripting you want. You can use a bunch of the snippets or just be uh, as simple and write everything in you want. Okay, very easy.